Well, good morning. It's August 31st, and as befits August in our part of the world, it's raining. So I'm underneath this canopy in downtown Palmer. Nice and dry here. You can see Pioneer Peak over there, just barely through the rain. That's the Palmer Visitor Center right across the street. And uh, you can see the borough building over there. That used to be the school way back when. I'm old enough to remember going to watch basketball games there. There's Palmer Library. So we're right in downtown Palmer. Everything's getting watered. Another little canopy. This is kind of like a little downtown park. You can see there are places to sit, picnic tables. Way over there is the old train depot. You can see the train tracks in the foreground. The train hardly ever runs on that anymore. And this is really the downtown business district of Palmer. Way over there is Vagabond Blues, Wells Fargo. There's the red light right there. The only red light in Palmer back in the day when I took my driver's license test. Obviously, that was a long time ago. And we'll zip through downtown Palmer here. Lots of little stores right on the main drag. And make a quick circle. There's... Pioneer Home. Sorry about getting you dizzy, but let's look around here. There's the market memo. So the market memo for August 24 through 31, 2020, and probably the most important number this week is this number 41. Only 41 new listings this week. That's really low. People are settling in for the winter. They're... Uh, just not moving. If you're looking for a house, you know, I think you better jump. Buyers are still out there. 65 new pendings this week. So 65 pendings and only 41 new listings. You can see what's going on. Houses are drying up. And uh, if only 41 new listings, it's probably going to stay low as, and even go lower as we go into winter. 62 close. So we're starting to clean up all those pending listings. There's a lot of pending listings. I actually wrote it down. 599 houses are currently under contract right now, waiting to close. So we closed out 62 of them this week. Only 421 houses on the market. I thought it was low last week, and it was 449. So it dropped, you know, what, close to 30 houses down. At this rate, we're going to be under 400 pretty soon, which is quite amazing for this time of year. Looking to buy, uh, you better you better think about this a little bit because uh, houses are drying up. It's time to make a decision. Hang on to the end and call one of the realtors whose number you'll see at the end of this video. Make sure and give them a shout right away. Well, I wanted to show you some... Um, interesting details about the numbers we've been looking at and, and, uh, and how they change depending on the area you're at. So when I do the market memo, this is what I'm looking at. You can see the map here. It goes all the way from up here north of Chase, north of Talkeetna, way out to the Yentna River, out to Lake Louise, and everything in between. So if we look at all these, and you notice there's only 418 now. There were 420 this morning when I did the, when, about an hour ago when I did the, um, the numbers. But look, the prices on these, the average price of all these houses for sale right here is 358000 That includes all those places out there. So let's change that a little bit. Let's go to, um, let's just go to Wasilla. We're only going to search Wasilla. And sorry to take up your time, but let's go down to Wasilla. All right. So in Wasilla, there are 195 places for sale in Wasilla. And this is, Wasilla goes all the way out KGB Road. You can see that here. Look at the prices on these. Now, 358000 is the average price for the whole borough, 411000 when we go to Wasilla. So, yikes. Uh, but now, check this out. Let's go to Palmer. So if we're just going to do Palmer, just Palmer, there's only... 65 houses for sale in Palmer, and I'm going to zoom in on these. These are you're going to find out that there really aren't 65 houses for sale, but uh, there are, according to the MLS, there are. Look at the average price of these. 
the average price of these is 462000 That's the average price of these houses in Palmer. Well, that's because there's some pretty expensive houses. I can sort this, search, I can sort this by price, and you can see uh, several over $2 million. Oh, a couple over $2 million. All right, but let's check this out. 65 houses for sale. How many of those houses actually exist? If I go and click existing structure, it takes out everything that's not an existing structure, which means it's it's advertised. Maybe it's under construction, uh, but there's at least a halfway chance that uh, it's not even under construction. It's just to be built, which means an empty lot if you're to go there and look. So only 39, only 39 houses actually out there in Palmer that you could buy if you really wanted to get into right now and didn't want to wait for it. And look at these prices. So the, of the houses that are existing, over $500,000, $516,000 average price for those houses. Now, let's check out another thing. So of these existing houses, these are houses that are currently marketed. Let's say that you really wanted to have a place that was under 300000 You didn't want to go over that. And you wanted to have a place that was at least three bedrooms. You notice that this number is dropping down to nine now. And let's say you wanted to have a place that had at least a, uh, an acre lot. And let's just go to a 40,000 square foot lot, not quite an acre. Okay, look, you've got two houses to pick from. Only one of them is mapped. Oh, yeah, there's the other one. It's out there, Kinnick River Road. Only two houses to pick from. And, and you know what? If you want one of those, you better grab it. This was one. The other, other on, interesting on the thing that just came on the market last week, number, grand. that's the total days on the market. And look at that. Inventory. I'm going to go over the, dollars, the, all the inventory and the differences in areas and differences in prices. And I think it'll be sold availability on the not. different areas in the valley. So that's what's really going on in the market. And if you're looking a, for a realtor to help you get into a house or get your place sold, realtors hang on to the end. So how's the market? Listen, all the people. And and this one said, you remember what? was like trying to find TP back in May. It's just like that. So if you want to find one of these houses that are for sale, and, and these are shrinking, just stay tuned. Call one of the realtors that I'm going to put on the list here right at the end of this video. And we'll talk to you next week. Call somebody on this list. Every one of us here will be happy to help you. And we promise we'll treat you right.